step back into the magical world of television with Bewitched, a classic 1964 series that cast a spell on audiences worldwide. With its blend of humor, shock, and heartbreak, this show promises a roller coaster of emotions. But did you know there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about it? Keep watching to uncover them all. Did Bewitched inspire or impact your life? Share your personal story. And which classic Hollywood actor in Bewitched was your favorite? We want to hear your cherished memories and experiences related to this iconic series. Share them with us in the comments below. Get ready for a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and nostalgia as we delve into the world of Bewitched. Stay tuned for more captivating tales from this beloved show. The TV series Bewitched from the 1960s is still loved today for its mix of comedy and magic. It has great actors like Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha Stevens, the main character. She's a witch trying to live a normal life in the suburbs. The show talks about things from that time like mixed marriages, but sometimes it's a bit too obvious. Still, Bewitched is a classic because of its great cast, including Agnes Moorhead as Endora. Fans really like the later episodes when it's in color and characters like Uncle Arthur and Esmeralda show up. The episodes are fun with cool magic and funny stories. But under the fun, it also shows what life was like in middle-class America in the 1960s. Darren, Samantha's husband, tries to deal with magic messing up his everyday life. The show also looks at relationships like Darren's friendship with his boss, Larry Tate. Through funny mistakes, Bewitch talks about how hard it is to pretend everything's normal when magic keeps getting in the way. Some parts of Bewitched might seem old-fashioned now, especially how it shows mostly white and upper-class families. But it's still fun to watch with its cool special effects. Overall, Bewitched is a classic show with comedy, magic, and things to think about. It's a must-watch for fans of old TV shows. Bernard Fox, known for his role as Dr. Bombay, initially appeared on the show as a witch-hunting anthropologist. The Rembrandt painting in the Stevens house, titled Young Girl with a Broom, frequently featured in the color episodes, possibly hinting at the witch theme. Despite being a minor character, Gladys Kravitz left a lasting impact, with her name becoming synonymous with a nosy neighbor or colleague in American culture. These elements add depth and humor to the series, enriching the viewing experience with subtle nods to witchcraft and memorable characters. It's fascinating to explore how these details contribute to the overall charm and legacy of the show. Dick York, known for his role in a Gary Cooper Western, experienced back pain due to an accident on set. This incident marked the beginning of his struggles with painkillers and a lost career. The animated opening credits, crafted by Hanna Barber Productions, added a unique charm to the show. Elizabeth Montgomery portrayed both Samantha Stevens and her cousin Serena, occasionally credited as Pandora Spocks, leading to confusion among viewers. Despite this, the show remains a timeless classic loved by many. Gladys Kravitz, a minor character, left a lasting impact, becoming synonymous with a nosy neighbor in American culture. These elements contribute to the show's enduring charm and legacy. Bewitched, a beloved TV series from the 1960s, was loved for its mix of comedy and magic. Starring Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha Stevens, a witch trying to live a normal life in the suburbs, the show ran for eight seasons, making it the longest running among similar fantasy sitcoms at the time. Despite being set in the 1960s, it explored relevant social themes like mixed marriages, sometimes in a very obvious way. One interesting thing about it was its animated opening credits, which changed each season to include the current sponsor. These credits, showing the sponsor's logo and a short cartoon ad, were removed in syndicated versions of the show. Notably, only three unique copyright years are displayed in the opening credits 1964, 1966, and 1969, corresponding to different seasons of the show's run. Throughout its time on air, the show not only entertained but also looked at the complexities of middle-class American life. It showed with Samantha's struggles to balance her magical abilities with the desire for a normal life, often leading to funny situations that tested the relationships around her. Elizabeth Montgomery's pregnancies during the show were cleverly handled, with her first pregnancy discreetly managed off-screen and subsequent ones integrated into the storyline, leading to the introduction of characters like Tabatha and Adam. In its later seasons, especially those in color, it introduced beloved characters like Uncle Arthur and Esmeralda, adding depth and humor to the story. 
Despite occasional criticism for its portrayal of mainly white and upper-class families, the show remains a timeless classic with its mix of comedy, magic, and insightful commentary on societal norms. With memorable characters, entertaining stories, and a touch of nostalgia, it continues to charm audiences, leaving a lasting mark on television history. Its unique blend of fantasy and reality, along with the talented cast performances, ensures its place in television history. In classic TV, Bewitched stands out. It was a popular show in the 1960s, blending comedy and magic. It starred Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha Stevens, a witch living in the suburbs. People loved the show for eight seasons. When Dick York left and Dick Sargent took over, fewer people watched, showing a big change in how viewers felt. Between seasons five and six, ABC aired six episodes without Darren to ease the transition before Dick Sargent joined. The last episode with Dick York aired in August 1969. Interestingly, the house next to the Stevens' home was also used in the show Gidget. Bewitched touched on social issues like mixed marriages, and its opening credits changed each season. Some people criticized it for showing mostly white, rich families, but it still loved for its humor, magic, and messages about society. With funny characters like Uncle Arthur and Esmeralda, Bewitched keeps entertaining people. It's a classic show that's still popular today thanks to its charm and the great actors. The TV series Bewitched, which aired in 1964, has a fascinating history and lasting impact. Agnes Moorhead got the role of Endora after meeting Elizabeth Montgomery and William Asher by chance. Rehearsals for the pilot were delayed because President John Kennedy, a close friend of William Asher, was tragically assassinated. At the 50th anniversary in 2014, only three cast members who appeared in 10 or more episodes were alive Bernard Fox, Dean, and Aaron Murphy. Notably, Bernard Fox, who played a memorable role and lived the longest among the cast, passed away in 2016 at 89. Despite its age, Bewitched still entertains audiences with its mix of comedy and magic, touching on relevant social topics of its time, like mixed marriages. The show's animated opening credits, which changed each season to show the current sponsor, added a special touch. Across its eight seasons, Bewitched show would a glimpse into middle-class American life, portraying Samantha's struggles to balance her magical abilities with her desire for a normal life. The introduction of beloved characters like Uncle Arthur and Esmeralda in later seasons brought more depth and humor to the series. Although criticized for mainly portraying white and upper-class families, Bewitched remains loved for its humor, magic, and commentary on society. With memorable characters and entertaining stories, it continues to charm audiences and leave a lasting impression on television history. Considered for the role of Tabatha were Helen Hunt and Jodie Foster. The names Samantha and Endora draw parallels to the biblical witch of Endor story. In it, Saul seeks a medium at a place called Endor, conjuring the spirit of Samuel. Maureen McCormick featured twice as a young Endora on the show. First, she appears in a fantasy sequence as Samantha and Darren's witch daughter, named after her maternal grandmother. Later, she portrays the real Endora transformed into a young girl through witchcraft. These unique casting choices and narrative parallels add depth to the show's magical themes. Helen Hunt and Jodie Foster were contenders for the role of Tabatha. Samantha and Endora's names echo the biblical witch of Endor tale, where Saul consults a medium at Endor, summoning Samuel's spirit. Maureen McCormick took on two roles as a young Endora, first as Samantha and Darren's daughter named after her grandmother, and later as the transformed real Endora. These casting decisions and narrative illusions contribute to the show's magical ambience.